just when you think you know everything about route redistribution, something else comes along, another situation. And what's going to happen to you in labs and in your CCIE lab should you go for your number, and certainly in production networks, is that sooner or later you're going to want to do some filtering with your route redistribution because we don't always want, say, all of our RIP routes to be redistributed into OSPF or all of our OSPF routes into EIGRP. In every scenario we've done so far, that's what we've had. Well, a great way to fine tune your route redistribution is with distribute lists. And these lists use ACLs, told you you'd see them again, and again and again and again, to define the routes to be redistributed and also defining the routes to not be redistributed, whether that denial be explicit or implicit. And you'll see exactly what I mean as we go through this particular lab. I've already got everything set up and we'll do some verification before we get started. OSPF Area 0, our typical or our usual 172.12.123.0/24 network, our typical hub and spoke where router 1 is the hub. Routers 1 and 5 are also communicating over the 3110/24 network, a RIP domain, and router 5 has a bunch of networks it's advertising into RIP right now, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 to be exact, all with 8-bit masks. Now, let's check out a couple things on router 1 there. First off, we're going to get that window straight and secondly we're going to make sure it has all the routes and you can see I ran show IP route rip we see everything we expect to see all six of those networks and the usual AD the usual via and etc etc I also ran a show config with a pipe to show you the section of router OSPF1 and you can see there we've got two redistribute commands of course both with subnets on the end I did a redistribute connected as well to get the 30.000 network into OSPF. So let's go down to router 2 and just make sure that I did it right. That would be a good thing. And there they are. We see 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 3110, all marked as OE2 routes, just as we expect with route redistribution. Now, our bosses have come to us and told us that they don't want the networks 8 and 9 to be redistributed into OSPF but we want all the other ones to be redistributed. Stupid bosses. Anyway, once we get done mumbling under our breath, we'll go over to router 1 and we'll make that happen. Let's head up there. And what we're going to do is write an access list that's going to identify our routes to be and not to be redistributed with a distribute list. And it's the distribute list that will actually go into the OSPF configuration. So nothing really new here with the access list. That'll stop one network. This is where I would ask my CCNA Bulldog, so what traffic am I denying at this point with this ACL? But I know you know that I'm denying everything because explicit denies don't do anything to negate the implicit deny. So we've got an ACL 17 denying two networks, but we also know we have an explicit ACL line 17 denying everything else. I'd like to call it an invisible line, but no one likes that. So let's go ahead and put access list 17 permit, and we'll put any in. So this ACL will deny networks 8 and 9, but it will permit all the others. Now we need to write the distribute list, command that is, put it under OSPF and tie it to this ACL. So let's see exactly how we do that with router OSPF1 and distribute list is the command and it's going to ask you a couple things we could have done here. Uh, you see an ACL number and then the expanded list or we could have used a named ACL. And gateway prefix route map, we're going to leave those alone. So we want obviously 17 here and we need to decide whether we're filtering incoming routing updates or outgoing router updates. And here we're going to filter outgoing ones. And some interesting choices here because now what we have is a list of interfaces that we have and some we don't have and some we've never heard of. And we've also got some protocols in there. We've got RIP, OSPF, EIGRP, Connected, BGP all right at the bottom of the list. But everything else on there is some kind of interface. We, still, we even have an ether channel there in the middle, a port channel. So let's try it, just filtering on the interface level. And this is serial 10. And you can forget it, Bob, because that's not going to work. You can't use interface without when you're using OSPF. 
That's a good thing to know for the exam because, of course, the router is going to tell you, but the exam won't. That's the whole point. And then we need to try something else. Let's try putting the protocol there instead of the actual physical interface. And let's see how that goes. We didn't get a stink burger message, so we might be good. Let's go down to router 2. And we'll run show IP route OSPF. And you can see they're already gone. Now, on occasion, you might have to give it a little push and clear your routing table. But it's very rare, especially with OSPF involved. Anytime RIP is involved, I just always think I'm going to have to clear a routing table somewhere. But you can see that the networks 8 and 9 have indeed been removed. And 5, 6, 7, 10, and 3110 slash 24, they're all still there. So that's pretty darn good stuff. And that's the fundamentals of a distribute list. Uh, I know, and just a word here, I don't know if this is the first time you in particular have seen distribute lists, but you know, the first time that you hear of any new list, prefix list, distribute list, access list, whatever, you just think, oh, you know, now I got new rules to learn, etc. You know, they really work pretty much the same way. You know, you're just writing an ACL and then whether it's some kind of map or some kind of distribute list, you're just filtering something. But that's why I always bugged you during your CCNA studies to get comfortable with ACLs because you're going to be writing them for the rest of your career. And really that uh, tied it up. I just had one little diagram there to show you uh, as far as the nets that we're going over, but we did that so we didn't need a picture. Distribute lists can also really come in handy when you want to filter all routes from being advertised via a given interface without making the interface passive and without losing the adjacency. Yes, such a thing is possible, and you'll see exactly how in the next video.